Well, it's a nice warm day, and I'm going to let the chickens out there. Of course, I'm the garden in this grass out here. My girls. Just uh, sit there at the door and then they'll work their way out, eat the grass. I got my three chickens in the corner over there. The orbs, they're just like, they run far away, they're skittish. These little uh, golden six link hens, they're really nice. They all come right up to you. In fact, you got that peck loose lock on top of them. Get into the so it's just one of those days. That oak right there is probably the most bravest of them all. The biggest orp I got is a hen. She's the biggest chicken of them all I got. She's good about everything. They're just enjoying their, uh, their green grass and grazing. They get a little more adventurous. I'll throw them some bread so they'll come over here. Cheap Walmart bread. I found this the best thing during the winter time. It's eat them this cheap bread. They love it. Let them enjoy the grass when it's still uh, growing good. <laughs> Gotta watch out for the neighbor's cats. They might mistakenly get themselves in, the, in trouble. <laughs> now the orbs are getting excited. I got this to get them all back in. As soon as you throw bread inside the uh, coop and they'll go crazy for it. Run right back in, I'll have to even hurt them. It's easy way to do it. Still got a few stragglers over there along the, the coop. They're afraid to come out. Somebody's about to make a big announcement. There we go. They're trying to get into all kinds of trouble now. Maybe I should just let them out and let them roam too. And later. I'll watch them because there's a lot of dogs running around the neighborhood. Uh, care of their pets. Okay, buddy, I hear you. That one in the far corner there is probably the most skittish one I have. The other four just stand right at the door waiting for me.
Yeah, the orbs are finally getting a little bit brave now. They're getting towards the coop door. They'll eventually get out and rest them. If you're going to get chickens for the first time, I suggest these go to sex link chicks because they're really docile, all friendly, not skittish. on your feet. Of course you might get a mistake like over there, you're hearing it right now. That was supposed to be a hen, that turned out to be a rooster. And I always get them right in the store, so. I'm just enjoying a little, little trip today, and eating the grass. And there's a lot of grass to eat. The garden's overgrown and need to pull potatoes, but before I do that, I'll let them enjoy the nice tender stuff out here. Let's go here. <laughs> Wanna come out here, buddy? I'll just start pecking on him. He's a kind of a jerk sometimes. Got the rooster over there, and one that doesn't lay any eggs. It's just so heartbroken to be here. Seems she likes him for some reason. I have no idea why. Kind of a jerk. what I'm doing with the chickens today. I'll stay here for another half an hour. I'm sure you don't want to watch all this, but yeah, they'll get in the garden. They'll do whatever they want to do. And uh, a couple of them don't want to the way back. So put it back in sometimes. They're nice to have around. They lay nice little, very golden brown eggs. About just just around the hard size eggs, almost medium sometimes. But they do have a better tasting egg. But the orps lay the bigger eggs. They eat. one of them gives me a double yolk all the time. So I'm kind of wondering about that bird. But they're just uh, the orps are not as adventurous as the, uh, the sex links. So this is just a field trip for the chickens and they're having a little fun. And uh, thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up and give me a like if you want. Um, I appreciate it. But, uh, raising chickens isn't that hard for me. Hold on. It's pretty easy. I used to raise pigeons a long time ago when I was a kid. These aren't much different. In fact, they're easier. Pigeons were a lot more work. <laughs> <laughs>